Who comes next? The Popish recusant, sir. Robert Catesby, come to the bar. Thomas Wintour, come to the bar. John Rawlins, Edward Titmarsh, and Wellings, Robert Bolton. You are come again before us, Catesby. Are you so addicted to these sessions? <laughs> I am addicted to the truth, sir. You make a grand claim, sir, for one whose priests pander superstition and magic to their ignorant, deluded flock. We both know the reasons why I'm come here, sir. I suggest we proceed. You stand indicted for being absent from your parish churches for 40 Sundays. This court finds each of you the sum of five pounds. And in respect of you, Robert Catesby, and you, Thomas Winter, there are outstanding sums as yet unpaid. Eight pounds and three pounds, respectively. With respect, sir, it has always been practiced at a real... We have commission from His Majesty to sit in judgment at these general sessions and to levy such fines as we deem fit. These fines are beyond all reasonableness. Our authority comes from the king himself. The king is but a man. Robbie. The king wields no power over the mortal soul of his subjects. God alone has that power. Never mind your speech, sir. Is it the king's privilege to sit in judgment on men's souls? Silence! I say I owe my soul's allegiance to God alone. Silence! I will not bow my head to any man whose flesh and blood carries no more divinity than mine own. Silence! It is the order of this general session that you both be held in jail until payment is made. Take them away! 